Good morning, neighbors. We're going to talk and sing about grace this morning. The unmerited favor of God. The sky is gray and the light is far. The sea is a rage within my heart. I turn my side to the crashing waves I cry in the night just to be saved And I need eyes to be my guide I need a voice that's louder than mine I need grace it is unmerited favor it's not something that you can earn it's not something you deserve because you've done so good it is unmerited favor it is the loving mercy and kindness of god and in hebrews chapter 4 and verse 9 it says there remains therefore a rest for the people of god yeah and we can rest in his perfect work of redemption and his grace for he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his. Think about that. You've ceased from your works. There's nothing that you can do. It is unmerited favor. Let us therefore be diligent to enter that rest, lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, 
but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. I mean, my goodness, I mean, we sin daily. We wake up. <laughs> you know, like David said, I was born speaking lies. This is just part of our carnal nature. But he could be tempted, but never gave in. He never sinned. And we have this great high priest, and he sympathizes us with our weaknesses. He understands because he was tempted as well. But then it says, let us therefore, because we have him, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Let us come boldly saying, Lord, I need grace. I need this. I'm just a wretch. I keep messing up. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So even when, when we just keep coming back, there's a song we've sung here before. I keep coming back to the well of grace. I just keep coming back. Saying, Lord God, I need more. Lord, I need more. Lord, I messed up again. It's not that we go sinning willfully. It's just we make mistakes. We fall. But we can come back to the throne of grace. I like that. Boldly come. So many people hold back. I've done too much. I'm too wretched. But he said, come boldly. If you can truly believe in who I am, come boldly to the throne of grace. And I'll be there in your time of need. So God bless you all. And be gracious to one another. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.